ethos with this channel right now is like I just need to say how it actually is without any pretense you know without any of the bells and whistles around what it takes to grow a YouTube channel this is the truth of how this week went and this is the truth of Sometimes artists need that. Let's talk about it. Hey, everybody. I'm Sammy, former fashion movie watcher and content consultant in Los Angeles, bringing you lessons for YouTube creators to help you make better content. All right. Today, I have a video called Do the Best You Can, Dash Marathon Prep, Dash Dash, or Line Line, with a backslash, backslash, episode 03, EP03, uh, from a channel called Sinbad Trains. This video has, uh, well, Sinbad Trains has 1,000 subscribers, and this video has equal... 1,200 views at the time of this recording. Uh, this is Nikhil, a.k.a. Captain Sinbad. He's got a big channel um, called Captain Sinbad, like a half a million subscribers. Um, this is an offshoot channel uh, for him where he's chronicling his uh, journey to get a sub 330, I believe, 310, something like that on a marathon. So he's just uh, making videos talking about that, which is going to culminate in, uh, I think is the Minneapolis, or the Twin Cities Marathon in October. Uh, so that's the background. Uh, this is a new channel for him. Um, today's lesson is when do you just need to, when do you need to express yourself? Do you need to express yourself? There it is. <laughs> do, you, do you need to express yourself? Um, so, uh, if you don't know, you probably don't. I mar I'm a runner, marathon runner. I've run like four, five marathons. As I touch my face to be like, that's a tell. Sometimes when people are lying, I'm not lying. I've done five marathons, four, five, um, Los Angeles, Long Beach, a bunch of half marathons. And then I've done, uh, uh, the, uh, 50 mile ultra marathon in, uh, Catalina Island in 2023. So I like running. I run not very fast, but you know, some of us are built for endurance, not speed. <laughs> that's, that's me. <laughs> so uh, 13 hours, nine minutes, 59 seconds for that ultra marathon. Um, burned that time is burned into my head because I felt every minute of it. Um, <clears throat> so uh, when you're training for a marathon, a lot of times the coaches or the trainers will tell you like, you want to chronicle your experience somehow your training, uh, either in a diary or written form or like a voice log or um videos just because it's like hard to track your progress and you're training for a long time three months for a single marathon sometimes it's hard to like track your progress because it just feels like you're not improving or it feels like you're not getting anywhere so if you chronicle it you can see your progress um similarly um uh content creation is like that it is it is literally a marathon Right. It, it is a marathon to do this uh, consistently and for a long time. Um, this is a thing that they won't necessarily tell you in these videos where they're trying to give you the hacks and the secrets and the tips to be the best YouTuber in the world and this and that. And they have the secret. Uh, that's why my channel, like, I, I feel like I, you know, try to cover the internal and the external. I work with um creators sometimes on like, what's, what's the actual journey of, of doing this and like, let's prevent you from getting burned out. Let's, let's, let's work with the artist within you. You may not believe that you're as a content creator making videos that you're an artist, but you are, I will tell you that you are an artist. It is hard to create content. I say this all the time. One of the hardest things to do in the world. Um, everybody thinks they can do it. They can do it forever. Um, but, but it's hard to stay focused. It's hard to stay like, um, true to yourself. And when you're trying to, when it seems like you're making the same video over and over again, it's hard to continue to do it. Right. So I, I feel like Nikhil, when he's talking about how he has his other channel that he's grown, um, into a big kind of uh, subscriber base and he does uh, like YouTube coaching as well. Um, I, I don't think he's a competitor or anything. I don't think anybody's a competitor. There's only one me. <laughs> so I, I compete with myself. Um, but I, I, I tell that I've told this to many creators that I've worked with. It's like, sometimes you just need to find a way to express yourself where you're not, uh, you don't care about the reception, right? You, you, don't, you just don't, it, it's not something that is going to, um, 
affect you or you, you need you need a you need a raw form of expression sometimes sometimes you need to take a step back from your content creation and just have like another thing whether it's like painting whether it's photography whether it's dancing sometimes doing that other thing where you don't care about the result or the likes or the engagements or the metrics or the swipe rates or the the flipping uh, the CTRs or anything else Sometimes, and I feel like a lot of creators, maybe the midlife crisis, I don't know exactly when that point would be, but the midlife crisis for the creator that's been doing this for a few years and just kind of burned out and just feel like, oh, like I'm just, oh, I'm over it. I can't continue doing this. Um, sometimes doing something else where you can just express yourself freely, um, and it, it's going to help you, right? And I think in this case, Nikhil... Captain Sinbad is doing the second channel and he's not care This will be good for him long term. Um, in this case, it, it wasn't doing a painting. Sometimes running is a form of art. I, I, I mean, we're watching the Olympics right now. I mean, the Olympics is uh, um, there's art in that as well. So um, maybe the combination of him doing a marathon training and doing the second channel where he's not so focused on the purity of the edits and maybe some of the production quality aspects or the scripting has to be perfect. He can just rawly express himself. Um, this is something that I think more, more uh, creators need. They need to, they need to do this. They need someone to help talk them through these kinds of things and be like, what, what's your other thing? Do you have something where you can just, there's, there's, there's no outside influences. It's just you, just you giving yourself to the world without any expectation of reception. Um, for me, it's my personal photography. Like I, I, I go out and take pictures and sometimes I post them, they get 50, 70 likes. Sometimes they get two, but it's like, well, I took that picture. I liked it. I processed it. I edited it. Uh, and I put it out there into the world and that's, you can look at my collective works online and just be like, well, that I can tell anybody that's just me. That is me unfiltered and raw. Um, so, so think about that. This is a lecture today. This is a lecture video. Um, think about if it's time to find something beyond making videos outside of making videos that you can just help recharge your, your artistic soul, right? Because that's going to influence the rest of your content. Maybe it'll help you pivot your content. Maybe it'll help you, um, find new things that you want to say, right? Um, think about it. If you need help through that process, I am available. Reach out to me. Looks quality consulting at gmail.com. It's in the description. It's in my video uh, description, a uh, channel description. Uh, reach out to me. I helping many other creators. So uh, I wish Nikhil all the best on his marathon. I like watching his content because like I'm from Minnesota, from Minneapolis. And uh, went to Minneapolis Community Technical College for my uh, film degrees. <laughs> so I like watching his content. It makes me feel like home, like I'm home. So uh, I thank you, Nikhil, for giving us, uh, giving me personally uh, some nice footage of Minneapolis uh, when I check in on your content. So uh, till next, oh, I will subscribe to this channel. Sure, why not? Give this video a thumbs up. And um, till next time, everybody, keep creating.